Hi, I'm Dodo. I live in England but with a Chinese background. I'm just an average teenager, except for my style, which is anything but average. I'm totally in love with Japanese street fashion and I'm also influenced by British street fashion and I mix it all together to put my own spin on things. My closet is filled with frills and platforms and my current obsession right now is monochrome and pastel outfits. Bows and frills are essential to my style. They need to be massive and over the top. And I also love glittery and sparkly things. I can't leave my house without them. We love Chinatown, it's where we always go to hang out and eat. It has a really great atmosphere and the food is really cheap. We do get a lot of stares and we tend to get strange looks, but when they approach us, they usually comment on our style. In a good way. One time when I was wearing Lolita, this middle-aged woman came up to me, went to pat my stomach but went a bit too far down and asked if I was pregnant. <laughs> Hair and makeup are essential to my style. I often wear circle lenses which are different coloured contact lens with a black ring around and fake eyelashes slightly away from my eye line to make your eyes appear larger. <laughs> Chinatown Market is basically a building that's filled with lots of different shops that sell very various things. But what we love the most is the photo booth club on the first floor where we go to every now and then. It's really cool, they have like five different machines and you can customise your pictures yourself. It's like proper Japanese style and you find loads of these photo booths in Asia. I often shop at Metamorphose and Angelic Pretty and KTZ. I love how original their designs are, it's so much more different than what you normally see on the high street. The internet is really important to me. We blog to share our style and we use the internet to buy Asian clothes online. It's also where I met most of my friends and I found out most of my hobbies through the internet. Without it, I probably would have been really boring.